Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lightweight championship of Great Britain. Would you please welcome now the challenger from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Paul Highland Jr. Well, he's very popular in Northern Ireland, but he's going to get a very hostile reception here. Paul Highland, who's worked himself into this mandatory position. The 27-year-old has been boxing for 15 years now. A clutch of junior amateur titles and undefeated in 18. The camp are very, very confident. Manager Mark Dunlop on a roll with Ronnie Clark and James Tennyson's recent upset triumphs. Can Highland stun the fans and Lewis Ritson here tonight, Tony? I'll be honest, Adam, he's undefeated, so that means we don't know how far he can go. Tonight we're going to find out Ritson is a dangerous puncher. He's strong. He's undefeated. Neither of these guys know how to lose. One of them is going to find out tonight. I look at Ritson and I, I see so many similarities to Scott Harrison. It, it, it's just the way, the maneuver, the moves he makes, the things he says, the way he trains. Listen to this crowd in here, Alan. Northeast boxing is alive. I know, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the champion from Forest Hall. here in Newcastle boxing is definitely back the party has started I tell you what this is unbelievable in here it's fantastic Adam this is what we want when we tune into boxing we don't want to see small hall shows and nobody cares we've got full-blooded full throttle full fans in here tonight as Ritson walks in he's got a smile on his face it's just fantastic to see, it really, really is, and I cannot wait to see if Highland has got what he says he's got. Lewis Ritson, the 24-year-old, who's had an astonishing eight months, which has seen him explode onto the British lightweight scene. Romy Barrett, Joe Murray, Scott Cardell, all dispatched. Tonight, he could win the Lonsdale belt outright for keeps. Three years younger than Highland, a little bit taller, both bang on the nine stone nine limit. The noise is absolutely deafening as we look through these statistics. 18 and 15 fights, both unbeaten. The power with Ritson. And he is a big odds on favorite. And he's a favorite to win it by KO. He's powerful, he's strong, but as Tony said, Highland's never tasted defeat. He can box, he can punch himself too, and the camp are absolutely adamant. Highland will upset Ritson tonight. These fans don't think so, not one little bit. For me, Adam, Highland is definitely going to be feeling this. You know, this is very intimidating, the sound, the music, the noise. Ritson just stands there, cool cold and calm this is going to be a fight ladies and gentlemen we are live on sky sports we're in the metro radio arena newcastle we are sponsored by william hill by Stubb, and by jd sports and eddie hearn for Matchroom Boxing. is very proud to bring you the chief supporting contest of the evening. 12 three minute rounds for the lightweight championship of Great Britain. 
sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, our steward in charge, Mr. Reg Long, and at ringside, our three judges scoring from Doncaster, Mr. Howard Foster. From Twickenham, Mr. Marcus McDonnell. From Birmingham, Mr. Terry O'Connor. On the bell, timekeeper James Coburn. And when the bell rings in charge of the action, a star referee from Fleetwood, Mr. Steve Gray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet the boxers. In the red corner stands the challenger. He wears black shorts with silver and green. He weighed in on the limit, nine stone, nine pounds. Brings a perfect record. 18 contests, 18 wins, seven wins inside the distance. He is the reigning IBF European lightweight champion. But tonight, he is the challenger from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Hilo Paul Ireland Jr. And in the blue corner stands the champion. He wears black and white shorts. He too tipped the scales, nine stone, nine pounds. He too brings a perfect record. 15 contests, 15 wins, nine wins by KO. Tonight, making the third defense as the reigning lightweight champion of Great Britain, from Forest Hall, time and we're England! It's the Sandman, Lewis Rinson! Okay, boys, have a cold break. Take one step back. Don't throw any punches over the back of the head. Let's take yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck, lads. We've seen Nigel Benn come here, Joe Calzaghi, Amir Khan, Anthony Joshua, Ricky Hatton, many over the years, but there's a local lad now who is packing this place out. The third defence of the famous British lightweight belt for the exciting and energetic and so popular Lewis Ritson in with Belfast's very decent Paul Highland. 18 straight wins for Highland, 33 between them, no defeats. Something's got to give. Just felt a jab there, Adam. Highland felt a jab from Ritson, a very strong lead jab. And he's huge at the weight, Ritson. And we saw Scotty Cardell come and take the fight to Ritson, and Ritson dealt with him in double quick time. Just slips on the advertising hoarding. Paul Highland doesn't need that. Ritson, a very, very fast starter, and Highland's got to cope with it. Actually, Adam, it's not even a fast start from Ritson. He just applies immense amounts of pressure with short steps. He steps in, tight defense, and fires really strong jabs. Highland seems erratic in there. He's making moves that he wouldn't usually make, and he's not, he's not calm at all. He's panicked here. Not quite sure where to go, Highland. He's trapped in the neutral corner. Good uppercut from Ritson, and he's felt the power early, and he's looked at his dad in the corner there. Paul Highland, as if to say, what was that? I'll be shocked if this goes past three rounds, Adam. He's like a rabbit caught in the headlights here. He doesn't know what to do up close. Big Ritson's right hurt him. Round the side or back of the head. Highland an extra trade. Is that a mistake? A big mistake, you cannot fight fire with fire, early doors at Ritson, so strong. Body shots from Highland. He's been forced into this, and Ritson teeing off with the right hand. Good body shots down the stairs from Ritson. The inside work here, he's rubbing Highland up, and Highland is shocked at the physical strength of Ritson. Oh, big right hand, and down goes Highland in his own corner. <laughs> into the first round and his dad saying stay down but the father in the other corner is about to start celebrating because this could be over very quickly Ritson is a predator rabbit caught in the headlights and he can't trade now he's gone he's gone Adam down for the second time his legs are defying him can he survive this Steve Gray takes up the count 
He looks completely lost and bewildered in there, Paul Hyland. He's looking to his father for advice, and there's no way Jack can help him now. 25 seconds left, and he's swinging for his life. How brave. brave, so brave. But down for the third time. Inside around, Steve Gray counts. Ritson thought he won the long sale belt for keeps there. Seconds left, and it it's is over. Lewis Ritson who becomes the quickest ever man to retain his Lonsdale belt three times. Ryan Rose did it when it was two notches, but Lewis Ritson within eight months has done it three times. He has the Lonsdale belt forever, and Ritson sparkles again, this time in front of his packed home fans. Wow is all I can say, Adam. What a performance. Highland came out, tried to put a stamp on the fight and get Lewis Ritson respect, but he could not. And look what it's led to. It's led to a vicious, brutal stoppage within a round. The crowd in here go wild. It's been a fantastic night. It's been brilliant for Lewis Ritson. Now let's wait for the pretty boy. He is... Such a down-to-earth guy, Lewis Ritson. His father, Davy, and him have done it the old-fashioned way. And he cannot believe what has happened to him. But these fans are growing. I tell you what, a year ago, very few outside the real hardcore had ever really heard about Ritson. But he stepped out of the shadows and he's performing on the big stages with the lights, with the pressure. He could really go far. I'm telling you, Adam, I see so many similarities to Scott Harrison. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do this at world level, but when was the last time you've seen a guy just blaze through fighters who have got more professional experience? I mean, he does similar to Scott Cardle. He, he's just, he's blowing away everybody. And tonight, he was punch perfect. You know, don't get me wrong, Paul Highland came out and gave it to him on a plate. I think Paul Highland tried to make him get his respect. You know, you, you cannot try and trade with this guy early doors. That right hook was devastating. In between the temple and the jaw area, just under the ear. A very, very disabling effect when you land it. Good body shot there. He just comes, fires back with that lovely counter right hook. It, it, it was ruthless all the way through. There it goes. It's a lovely time punch, and it's heavy also, Adam. That's the word, ruthless. That's what the Sandman is, isn't he? And I love the comparison to Scott Harrison, a hardened warrior who wants to excite, he wants to stand in front of you, and he's got the power to back it up. He has, and you see them here. Highland makes a, a, a criminal mistake of exchanging punches when hit. You don't get into a trade-off here like he's doing and expect to come off first when you've just been on the floor and you choose to move, navigate the ring. It's, it's about surviving once you've been knocked down. You know, some, you sp some spirit, even in the short time he was in there, Highland. It really was, you know, you take your half or two, it's, bra it's stupid, Adam, but it's brave. So you cannot knock him. But it's about, boxing isn't about who's the toughest, I'm going to show you how hard and tough I can be. It's about, I'm going to show you how clever I can be and I'm going to punish you at the right time. Ritson is exactly what he does what it says on the tin ruthless hard strong and relentless 16 straight victories 10 now by knockout and those knockouts are coming at british title level i tell you what tony your man eddie hearn is going to be coming back here aplenty he's got to he's got to Adam, because where do you go that gives you the atmosphere like here you know the North East has been craving a star for a long, long time. And they've been, you see, the good thing is here, we're, we're, we're craving a guy who wants to actually fight. With Josh Kelly, he's amazingly talented, but he can make fights easy. And that sometimes leads to it being a slightly boring. With this guy here, he wants to just have a fight. And that's what people want. Blood, guts, he's brilliant. The Geordies love him. I'm sure the whole of Britain's going to love him pretty soon. Terrific guy, Lewis Ritson, and he's just 24. What a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Gray brings both boxers together. The official time, two minutes, 53 seconds, round number one.
Steve Gray stops the contest. His opinion, Paul Highland Jr., no position to continue. Therefore, the winner. And still, the British Lightweight Champion, now proud owner, outright, of the Lord Lonsdale Challenge Belt, the Sandman, Lewis Ritson. The Lonsdale Belt over his shoulder. It's what so many fighters want to put on their mantelpiece at home. And he has got it forever. And he's got it so quickly. And he's got it with crushing wins. He has, and, and that's when people come to the boxing album. That's what they want. They want the knockout. They want excitement. And he's done it tenfold. You know, the last three opponents, he's just blew away what he done to Joe Money, what he done to Scott Cardle. And remember, going into them fights, they look like 50-50s on paper. Tonight, yes, he was the favourite, but he still got rid of, of an undefeated fighter in, in breathtaking fashion. I wonder if we'll be able to hear Andy with the interview and the noise that the crowd are going to make here, because it is wonderful here in Newcastle. Brilliant to be back. Well done, Lewis. Listen, to everybody here, try and put into words what it means to uh, own a Lonsdale belt outright. You've earned that British title for keeps. First and foremost, I just want to thank everybody who has bought a ticket and come out. Never heard anything like that. Thank you. Uh, look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Every belt I win, that'll go my dad's man, piece, not mine. He's the man. Yeah. He's a bit shy of your dad, but... Yeah. We'll keep that. Uh, that goes on his mantelpiece. That'll be on his mantelpiece. So, he's training since I was eight year old, 24, and he'll be on a good run. Hopefully, he'll continue. It's been some roller coaster ride for the two of you, pretty much since the, the Robbie Barrett fight. Do you have to pinch yourself at times? No, I'm, I'm laid back like this. I, I, I couldn't ask for anything from better for what the crowd's been tonight. That just raises another level, and uh, hopefully, with support like this, Eddie Hearn can't go anywhere else, and he'll have to come back to the Metro Radio Arena. We know you're laid back, but what about the emotions that stirred on the ring walk, hearing everybody chant for you? Do you know what it is? My dad said to us, and Eddie coming to the change room as well, well yesterday, saying you'd have to keep calm when you had the support, and I didn't think for one minute it was going to be as loud and as mad as that. I couldn't have think of anything, that was unbelievable. Not everybody will know your story, the fact that you were willing to pack it all up and go and work in a bleach factory packing bo boxes of bleach up. Just tell us that story and how amazing this turnaround has been. Look, I'd I don't want to be like a sort of sob story, but my girlfriend, my mum, dad, I'll tell you, my baby comes seven weeks premature, skinned, everything. Factory work, I applied for it, didn't get back to us. Lucky enough, here we are now. I think everybody can thank that factory for not getting back to you. You've said that you don't see this punching power, but Joe Murray, one round, Scotty Cardle, two rounds, Patrick Highland Jr., your, uh, Paul Highland Jr., your mandatory, one round. Do you believe in this power now? No, I, I, you know what it is, I, I'll still say it. No, I, I don't think I... Do you know, like, we've had Neil Fallon on board now for the last four fights. He's done a magic job, but we just tell him to calm, learn, not go for every punch and power. And it just seems every time I hit someone, they seem to be going down and wobbling. So I don't believe I have, but I must. A lot of people would want to get away on holiday, but will you go straight back in the gym, try and get out before the end of the year and try and capitalise on this run of form? Maybe look towards a European title? Yeah, well, I go on holiday next week with my girlfriend, so hope after that, I'll be straight back in the gym. And Eddie's the boss, I see it all the time. He's the boss. He tells us who I'm fighting, and whoever he tells us I'm fighting, that's who I'm fighting. OK, let's have a quick word with him. What do you want to do now, Eddie? I mean, this is amazing up here. Could you bring a European title here, a Commonwealth title? Tommy Coyle's here. What route do you want to go? Well, firstly, I want to thank everybody in here in the city of Newcastle for getting behind this man tonight. You may not meet a more humble individual. He's won the British outright in four rounds of defences. One round, two rounds, and one round. I don't know where this story is going to take us, but I do know with a city behind you like this, you have all the potential to go all the way. Because he doesn't know what he's got. He doesn't know what he's got. But I've not seen or felt or heard an atmosphere like that for a long, long time. And I feel like a star is born tonight in Lewis Ritson. European titles, world titles, we dream big. The team dreams big, Sky Sports dream big. St James's Park is the ultimate goal for Lewis Ritson. 
And there's a lot of work to do, but we're going to give it 100%. And I'd love to see him go all the way and go and lift that world title. He knows how to get a crowd behind him, doesn't he?